Howdy heart frobs. Weather's closing in, it's getting a lot colder. So, thought I'd try a bit of cold weather camping. Going for hammocks tonight. So if any of you have seen the War Bonnet Ridge Runner, it's nothing like that. True to form, I've made my own bridge hammock. Only took about 10 minutes, you can see the link there. Out of a British Army basher. Now, the British Army basher is a cracking bit of kit. Because if you take this with you, you've got tarp for lean-to, uh, any sort of shelter. Tarp tent you can make out of it. Also works as a stretcher. And as you'll soon see, quite an effective bridge hammock. A really comfortable night's kit. So, uh, if that's a bit of kit you've got in your bag, most eventualities are covered. Now, the only downside is if you're using it as a hammock, ideally you would need another tarp with it to go over the top of yourself. And they are fairly heavy. About 25 quidish, you can pick them up and use them. Quality bit of kit. I'll get in the camp, whack her up and show you. Also, I've been out playing with a couple of catapults. I made my own, and I've also bought a couple of cheap Chinese ones. And I've got to say, they're pretty damn good. A little bit small in the hand, but pretty damn good nonetheless. I'm gonna go get set up, and uh, we'll have a chat when I'm done. Purely because I've only got a couple of hours of light left, and I've got to get all my stuff together. Let's go and have a bit of a closer look. Um, we've got a 10th Wonder Ultralight tarp on there. They're normally about 20 odd quid. Unfortunately, he's out of stock of everything at the moment because he's just starting up again. Luggage straps just looped around the tree. Then I've done a, what do they call it? Marlin spike hitch using the carabiner just as a spike. If you look at the video, it'll show you how to actually make up the lines and everything on the uh, hammock. They were in the back of my car, so I bought them with me. Normally, I just cut them when I'm on site, 900 mil groove in the end. Slightly shorter at the foot end to stop leg lift. And there's your basher. As you can see, it's dual layer, so you can slip your padding underneath if you need to. Got handles for it being used as a stretcher. That obviously opens out double that size, so you could use it as a rudimentary tarp, or take it all apart and use it as a shelter on the floor. Cracking bit of kit, cheap as chips, and it is a very, very comfy lie. Um, you know, the bridge hammocks out there, like the Ridge Runner, quality, absolute quality. They're going to be lighter, um, probably a, a bit more comfy, but beggars can't be choosers. I ain't a beggar, I've got shitloads of kit, but there we go. The temperature is going to get down to as close to zero as it can tonight, so it should be a good test for me. Um, it is pretty cold, but you know, I'm as tough as woodpecker lips, so I should be all right. Another thing I have bought is a little motion camera. Um, you often hear bumps and groans and footsteps while you're out camping. Thought I might see what there is. A bleed now, I can't talk. Thought I might see what it's about. Probably nothing, but you never know, dear. Um, I'm going to get some wood, get me a brew on.
I made that a lot harder than it had to be. Jesus. Gotta say, my stomach's doing somersaults. Um, there's that norovirus going round and I've been feeling rough all day. Earlier on I had the old hippo tail action. Oh, hope that stops because that's about as wanted as a ginger stepson. Where are we? Well, I've um, got a few things coming up soon. Um, as some of you know, I do hunt. I do a bit of ferreting, a bit of shooting, looking to get into the catapults. I'm looking to do a few catch and cooks. So what I'm going to do, because I don't like putting all of the the game preparation and stuff like that on this channel, I'm thinking of uh, starting up another channel, just showing that side of things. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a help naming it. I was thinking along the lines of, I don't know, Nobby, an outdoorsy arsehole, or something like that. Have a think. Leave a name in the comments below. Oh, God, I need this coffee. There we go. Yeah, next month, um, got something exciting coming up. I won't spoil it now in case it doesn't come off, but I need to get out for longer each time. Um, these overnighters are brilliant. They refresh me. I love them. But, Obviously, you're limited to what you can do and what you can film. Looking forward to that. I'm not sure if you can see my camera behind me. The uh, trail cam, wild cam. Hopefully that'll light in a minute and stop smoking me out. But I'm hoping to get some decent shots around me tonight and you never know what comes through, do you? Wicked. All right, I'm gonna have that brew. I'm talking shite. But yeah, I am proper feeling rough as a badger's ass. Don't feel too cold at the moment. I'm still need to put my underquilt on that. We'll see how that holds out. Should be fine. Might not even need it. I've got me, um, I'll show you later. Uh, I'll need me light there to show you the British Army Arctic bag. Absolute quality bit of kit. Anyone that's got them, they're good to about minus 10. Um, yeah, brilliant bit of kit. Bulky, about the size of the bouncing bomb as everyone calls it, but they really are warm. So if you're starting off and you want a decent warm night's sleep in the middle of winter, a decent pad and a British Army Arctic bag, you're golden. See you in a bit. Oosh. There we go, people. First fork hit snap straight off cheap Chinese tosh that one the other one not too bad be careful on what you buy read the reviews have a good look round I took a punt on this couldn't see anything on YouTube or anything and yeah that could have been bleeding dangerous So, as usual, I'd like to mention uh, or give a shout out to a channel I've been watching recently. It's a fella called Alex Davidson Outdoors. Goes out with his dogs, does a bit of catch and cook and bushcrafty stuff. Uh, really good channel, well filmed. So go over, give him a shout, tell him I said hello. Um, he's, he's one of those ones, he's got a bit of a speech impediment, you know, like a... I don't shit like me, got a bag of tuna, didn't fucking start. You know, he's up that way. But, yeah, top vids. Thing is with YouTube at the moment, unless you're getting the likes and the, the comments and the bell notification, they just leave you for dead. By all means, if you wish to, it would help me out greatly. Don't think you have to. I ain't ever going to retire off this shit. <laughs> uh. I wonder what that action action cam, trail cam I catch tonight. There's a bit of a trail running through the end. 
so you never know there might be something but with my nose trumpet going the chances are slim i'll be testing out a new little light i bought as well this time um i've got a few comments on my one of my last vids that it was pretty much a podcast so <laughs> i thought i'd invest we'll see how that goes in a bit eh oh getting nippy getting nippy oh. just sitting here wondering if uh i should actually eat something i should do because i'm hungry but i ain't feeling right i'm gonna make myself hot chocolate and then i'm going to boil up some chicken chicken and lice might put it straight in a pan but hot chocolate to start that's what i reckon let's see how i feel i've got to eat but yeah i don't really feel like getting up all through the night if you know what i mean i don't even know whether i have me captain morgan's or not well, low sugar, that's no good. Hopefully the light's working all right. It seems to be. See how wet the wood is. All the smoke and all that stove don't smoke at all. Come on, catch it. Lighter. see much excitement here oh the under quilt absolutely fits like a glove let's see how well it works don't know how cold it is here at the moment but it ain't bloody warm i can tell you that for nothing so yeah i'm guessing it will get to give or take zero tonight we'll find out when we oh we'll find out happy days Stove, 12 pound I paid for that off of eBay, Blixada, wood gas stove, and uh, had it what, a year and a half, two years now, use it regular, it's a real good stove, a real good buy if anyone wants to get one, you can make them yourself, um, I've made a couple, have a look through my channel, I'm not going to keep putting links, unless I run out and I might put a link, but um, yeah, they work wonders. Living like a hobo. I know people say you shouldn't cook in tins. That's why I boil it in the water rather than stick it straight on the fire. It's not that hot, so it doesn't melt all the plastics and stuff on the inside. Mm. Cheap Chinese chicken. Curry. Not sure curry's a good idea with my guts at the minute, but... Soon find out, won't I? I think it's only about. What time we got? 6 o'clock. And I'll be honest with you. I ain't far from getting in... Oh. If I am I'm not far from getting in my scratcher. Get comfortable. I even forgot my headphones. How can you forget your headphones? We have to listen to podcast out loud. Hey ho! But at least give me give me a long old time with the um the trail camera, which I can't remember where I put.
Well, I'll bring you back when I'm getting into my hammock. I bloody hate that saying. I'll show you when I get in my hammock and have a little chat in there. Probably, I don't know. It's very early, isn't it? Until then, I'm going to enjoy my curry. Nom, nom, nom. Good night, my folks. Well, got to say, as far as hammocks go, I've smashed it. Really, really, really comfy. Underquilt seems to be doing the job. Feet were a little bit cold, but nothing too bad. Um, I'll be able to sort that out. Slight bit of leg lift, but if I had a shorter pole at the end, I'd probably sort that out. I've just wedged my jacket underneath my knees. Problem sorted. Salted? That ain't a word. Salted. Yeah. Really, really, really comfortable. Cracking bit of kit, these uh, bashers, as I say. So many different uses. Bomb proof. But, as with everything, there is a downside to them, which is a weight. These ain't actually too bad compared to a lot of the other military kit. The, what do you call it? Sleeping bag. I've never had a cold night in one. Um, I've been down to about minus... What's the coldest? Been down to about minus seven, minus eight, I think, a few year back. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I'm sitting here, it's half undone. And it is bleeding cold out. Don't know what temperature, but it's cold. Anyway, I've got podcasts to watch. ta -da. Morning. It's half past six. <coughs> and what a cracking night's kip. Not a single cold spot. This uh, sleeping bag is the shiznut. But 30 quid you can get and pick them up for. And you will always have a warm night with them. Um, you can probably still see the vapor coming out of your chops. It's bloody nippy. But no, real, real, real comfortable night. I am going to consider getting my ass out of bed. And oh, do I make breakfast? I might make breakfast. We shall see. Anyway, yeah, didn't fall out, which is always a bonus. The underquilt seemed to work really well as well, which I'm proper happy with. I might have to make a green one rather than this poxy blue thing. Happy days. like a Muppet, I've got three settings on my um, trail cam. One so you can review the footage, one so that it puts it on standby and is motion activated, and off. And while I was setting it up and just having a quick test run, I left it on the review and killed all the bloody batteries. So at best I might have a single a uh, bit of a last night, but I'll have a look when I get back. The most impressive thing is me Crocs. <laughs> is there anything that amplifies a fat middle-aged man than wearing Crocs? No. Do I go for beans and sausages? Or just have a uh, snack bar? 
we shall see. As I'm waiting for me beans to cook. These are the uh, catapults I've been using recently. Obviously that one I've cut myself from a bit of ash. Lethal, the GKZ or GZK bands on it. And that's that cheap Chinese thing. And to be fair, although it's pretty small in the hand as you can see, yeah, it's not too bad, pretty accurate. So hopefully, as you can see, I'm getting better. Um, that first one was a fault kit, cold hands and all that sort of stuff. Um, but second shot, boom, 20 yard, lovely job. I'm going to keep practicing for the next week or so until I'm able to hit a lighter at 20 yard regularly. And then I'll be able to go out and do a bit of catch and cook with them. Proper powerful though, they're, they're piercing the tin. Yeah, they're going right through them, which is pretty damn good from 20 yard. So yeah, I'm gonna, what I will do as well, I'm gonna make a few of these and give them away. These, obviously not them. Um, in the next few videos coming up, I've got a good challenge coming up soon with another YouTuber. So I won't say too much because you know, these things do or do not happen, but it looks like it's all systems go. Oh, wicked! So, there you go, another night done. As you can see, no mess left apart from a couple of wood chips. Lovely job. Another night with minimal expense and a proper comfy night, I've got to say. That basher was a real comfy lie. Rubbish with me. A lot of weird noises last night, knocking about, but I didn't see anything. I'll bring spare batteries for the trail cam next time. Don't go for a Burton Lee. Oh. Cracking. Once again, people, if you're looking at these, wanting to get out there, there is inexpensive kit for you to get started. Bomb proof kit. But well, check the reviews. I've said it before in a vid, but I'll say it again for any of my new lot. If you are watching reviews, check the uh, video history of the people giving the review. Because there are people out there that just review kit for reviewing sake and never actually use it out in the field. And there are people that are sponsored or given the kit and asked to give it a good review when it might not necessarily be that good. There are people that are, you know, giving kit to review and they give good, honest reviews. I've done one, <laughs> I've done one a while back on a torch. Funnily enough, I've been asked to do another. But, okay. So yeah. Have a look at the online reviews, then go and have a look at their video history to see if they actually go out and use the stuff. If anyone needs any advice, not that I'm an expert in any way, shape or form, let me know. I'm always, always trying to be happy to help, but you know, life is busy. Anywho, I'm going to get back and play with my kids. Till next time, ta-da!
Is that a dangleberry? No, safe. 